To be fair, the Olympics actually the only silver lining Japan has right now because they had the multiple whammies. They had the consumption tax hike last year, which is still impacting consumption. They now have the coronavirus, and there's a whole loop effect of the whole of Western Hemisphere getting impacted too. So that will again affect Japanese exporters. Not ideal indeed. So the Olympics are the only scenario we can expect some incoming of tourist arrivals, some spending in. It wouldn't have been a big lifesaver, but it would have been some sort of uh, support rather than nothing being there. Well, because you say that, but about a big lifesaver, I mean, we are still talking about a huge sum in terms of the economic toll that could come if the games are canceled. I mean, at least one estimate I saw from SNBC, Nico, was talking about $76.2 billion in losses, which is about a 1.4% hit to GDP. That seems to be at the upper end of the range for estimates we've seen. I mean, what are you looking at in terms of what if the, the economic... If don't go, we will have to revise down our growth for Japan to be minus 1% for the whole of 2020 so as well. Minus 1%, wow. Because it's not just the Olympics. The investment is already sunk cost. That's already happened. It happened a few years ago. So we're not looking at the investment channel. It's more about the consumption side of it. So... Yes, tourists will not be coming in. Tourism is not itself as big an industry for Japan as it's, let's say, for Thailand or so. Yes. But again, that impacts domestic consumption too. It has a whole vicious cycle impact on private consumption too. How dire is the domestic consumption story? Because the timing of this tax hike just feels like it couldn't have been worse. Of course, the authorities wouldn't have predicted what would happen with the coronavirus. Nobody did. Let's get that straight. <laughs> but what happens now? Because at a time when they've had this hike, now the question is all about what kind of tax relief, what kind of fiscal stimulus can you put through? And what is this going to do for the fiscal picture in Japan? Uh, definitely worsening. The whole idea of raising the tax was to improve that side of it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, that will be worsening. Uh, if you look back how Japan had four supplementary budgets, at the time of Fukushima disaster. We might see Japan's government doing something or more of that sort too, because effectively this is Abe's last year in mm. the whole in government. Next year he will have to step down because that's his final term ending too. So we do expect fiscal situation to be worsening a lot more. Okay. I want to ask you, too, about, about the Ministry of Finance saying today, today. Once, once again, the government and the BOJ are working together as one to do whatever it takes, essentially, for this crisis. What, according to where you sit, I mean, what, what should they be doing? Because that's, that's one thing to say that, that but what, what does that look like in practice in terms of the best case scenario that they could have? Is it trying to please come up with a fiscal package that is both based on monetary versus and also fiscal stimulus? Because one side cannot alone prop up any economy, let alone Japan. Every economy around the world has to look into both sides measures, fiscal and monetary, to be able to at least support both supply, supply shocks and, and demand setbacks. Mm. What, what are the big problem right now? Because, because you, know, you know, the sales tax, tax the hike was already in the works and it was impacting the consumption side of things. things. Do you think the supply shock, shock would be more critical, critical for Japan, Japan given what's happening in China, given what's happening in Korea, given what's happening in Australia? To be fair, because it's a consumption tax, Japan's situation is a bit unique. They all have very big demand shocks. So that's where they should be targeting first, trying to come with fiscal measures to support small and medium enterprises. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.